If you'd like to practice speaking these Korean verbs more efficiently, we have an audio course called Listen and Repeat. And if you want to know more verb conjugations, we have a paperback book called Korean Verbs Guide. For more information, check out the link in the description below. Hi. <laughs> Say hi. Hello. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm Hyunwoo. I'm Cassie. I'm talking in Korean, and I'll give you a Korean vocabulary quiz for you. A quiz? Okay. okay yeah. So, what's a lion? A lion, 사자. Cat. Cat, 고양이. Dog. 개. Or and, 강아지. Yeah. And. <laughs> 개미. Okay. So these are actually straightforward, right? Yes. You know or you learn these words, and you either remember them or you forget what they are. Right. But there are some animal names and plant names that we want to introduce today in this video and in the following video um, that are very interesting yes. and fun to <laughs> try to memorize. Yes. Yeah. At first glance though, the, the components, even if you know the comprising words, yes. you might not know the, what it means. Yeah, English yeah. translation yeah. or the translation in your language. So these are some funny Korean animal names. Yes, animal right. names. Yeah. So First of all, um, zebra. Zebra. Yeah. Zebra is 얼룩말. 얼룩말. So 말 is horse. Horse. And 얼룩 is usually like translated as a stain. Stain. Yeah. But people, when people see 얼룩말, they think of 얼룩 as the stripes. Right. The lines, not like stains here and there. Yeah, it's a stained horse, <laughs> kind of. What's in a, a way, stained in, horse? In stripes, it's like dyed, you know. So it's not pure <laughs> white or pure brown. Right. So yeah. striped horse. Mm -hmm. So alumai. Alumai. If you didn't know aluk, that's uh, usually a stain, like alugi right. style. Right. Right. You've got right. oh, you've got some tomato sauce right there. Yeah, alugi that's style. aluk stain yes. on, on something. So alumai, and um, this one is fun. What's a rhino? Rhino. <laughs> 코뿔소. 코뿔소. Yeah. 소 is a cow. A cow. <laughs> 코 is your nose. Your nose. 뿔 is a horn. horn. So <laughs> nose, horn, cow. cow. Nose, Makes horn, sense. cow. Yeah. Yeah, right? Yeah, they kind of look like cows, I guess. At least their size. Yeah. Okay, so this one is actually my favorite, uh, one of my favorites. Um, ant eater. Ant eater. Yeah. Kemi Haki. Kemi Haki. So Kemi Haki. Kemi is ant. Yes. And Halta. Halta is to lick. To lick. So Haki, I mean, if you translate it like that, ki or put it like that, it's a noun form. Right. So Kemi Haki means an ant, ant licker. Licker or ant <laughs> licking. Yes. But ant eaters don't just lick ants, they eat they, them. They eat them. <laughs> so I think in this case, the English name is more correct. Yeah, yeah. more apt. More <laughs> yeah, apt and accurate, so kemi <laughs> haiki. So yes. it's as if they are just trying to lick them, but then the, the, it's the ants' fault. Yeah. They being swallowed. <laughs> so, eat me, eat me. <laughs> yeah, kemi haiki. Yes. Interesting, right? Kemi haiki. And the next one is hanul so. Can you guess? Hanul so. Hanul so. Hanul is, is sky, mm. and then as we've heard before, so is cow. So a sky cow. Wow. What could that possibly be? That's scary. If what if a cow flying fly. in the air falls on <laughs> you? You know, it's really scary. So hanul so is a long horned beetle. Long horned beetle. Is so that the one that all the kids like to keep as pets? Yeah. 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 The one with that, that big, yeah, that yeah. horn, long horn. For yeah. a few days at least. For a few days. <laughs> yeah, and moms hate them. Oh, yeah. Yeah, when the kids catch them. So, long horned beetles are called hanul so. Why would they be called sky cow though? They don't look anything like cows. Maybe they do. I don't know. Maybe at least that their body shape looks like the face of a cow. I don't know. Perhaps. Perhaps. And the next one is also something that a lot of people um, get confused about the word origin. Mm -hmm. So, um, dolphins. Dolphins. 돌고래. 돌고래. Somebody's calling our office. <laughs> <laughs> that rarely happens. Is it a dolphin? Hello and thanks for all the fish. <laughs> <laughs> and bye-bye. What was like, that was, was it? It was from, uh, what was it? The, the Hitchhiker's, Hitchhiker's Guide, Guide to the, to the, Galaxy. the Galaxy. Yeah. So anyway, dolphins are called 돌고래. Yes. 돌. Contrary to popular belief, in this case, doesn't mean stone. stone. It's not a stone whale. Kore is whale, so tol, um, it comes from tun. Tun. Deji. For, ah, yeah, pig, from pig. Pig whale. So it's a, that makes even less sense to me. 
I mean, to I mean, people back then, I guess uh, people who came up with this name, they looked like pigs, pigs maybe. Mm. And I also heard that I'm not sure, but I also heard that this is similar in Chinese. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, and also the next one is a red dragonfly. dragonfly. <laughs> yeah. So I uh, thought as a child this uh, made total sense, of course. Mm. Gochu jamjari. Gochu is pepper, yeah. and many peppers are red. Yeah, and jamjari <laughs> is dragonfly. So pepper, dragonfly. Yes. Yeah, gochu mm jamjari. -hmm. And uh, f for I think children, like for me at least when I was a child, gochu jamjari is were um, more fun to catch because they're really really like bright red and yeah. they're they're pretty. That's true, yeah. When I was first learning Korean, mm. actually just the word dragonfly, tamdari, was very interesting to me because uh, if you pronounce it just a little bit differently, uh, it can yeah. mean like the place that you sleep yeah. as well. Yeah, so tamdari. Yes, tamdari. Tamdari is, tari is the seat or right. the spot where you do something and tam is sleep. Tamdari, tamdari e dilda. Right, it's go to bed. Go to bed, yeah. yeah. It's where you sleep, the place yeah. that you sleep. Yeah. So when someone was talking to me about dragonflies, I was like, why are you talking about where you sleep? I didn't yeah. understand. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, red dragonflies, gochu jamjari. Yes. And then we have a few more. Elephant. Elephant. Yes, kokkiri. 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 So many people might not know that kokkiri actually came from ko plus kiri. Right. <laughs> ko is long. Long. Long ko, nose. Yeah. So elephant, kokkiri, and then another another name. I like it. Blue whales. Blue whales. Blue whales are called in Korean hin suyom kore. Hin suyom kore. So blue whales are not really like bright blue. They're not. Yeah. yeah so, it's kind of like like blue cats, like blue Russian cats. They're not mm, really blue. They're mm, more gray. Yeah. But yeah. So I didn't really look into the origin of blue whales, but uh, word origin. But um, anyway, in Korean hin suyom kore. White, white mustache, mustache or beard. beard. Facial hair is suyam, by the suyam, way. Yeah. Yeah. So it can be a mustache or a beard. Yeah, and whale. Whale. <laughs> white beard whale. Yeah, white beard. I mean, it kind of makes sense, whale. but isn't that their teeth? Or um, is it? Or are they talking about the white underbelly? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm just, I'm just gonna show you some images. Uh, you can decide. Maybe. Yeah. It's. Yeah. I see. It's the chin under chin. So their underbelly there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And it looks like long. Like a beard. Beards. White beard. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Hin suyam gore. Hin suyam gore. And then mulke. So mulke. there are a few names for seals. Right. So there's different kinds of seals. Yeah. You know, there's like the the Arctic seals. Then mm. there's you know the Atlantic seals yeah. and the Pacific seals. So I'll give you three <laughs> types. The fur seal is mulke. Mulke. Mul is. Mul is water. Uh -huh. And ke is dog. Water yeah. dog. Yeah, water dog. Mulke. Which is, I think, a really cute name. Yeah. Water dog. <laughs> <laughs> and then earless seal is pada pyobom. Which is, pada is sea, mm -hmm. and pyobom is a leopard. Yeah. So the sea leopard. Sea leopard. Yeah. Their, their faces are similar. Yeah. And then lastly, it's the same. Sea lions, pada saja. Pada saja. All right. Sea lion. Okay. Pada saja doesn't mean let's buy the sea. I'm sorry about that. I should have just not said that. Right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so these are some funny uh, and interesting animal names in Korean. Yes. If you know of any more, please let us know. And tomorrow, we'll introduce some funny plant, plant and names. flower names in Korean. Yes. All right, so please stay tuned and please subscribe if you haven't. And we'll see you next time. See you there. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.